What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, we do Mustang stuff if you're new. So I have a Fox body and recently I picked up a new edge. Um, this is a four valve swapped new edge. So there'll be more videos to come on that soon. I've just been working on that. I bought it two months ago and um, in the state of Connecticut I need to pass emissions and when I bought it it had 15 check engine lights. So whoever did the motor swap didn't put any emission stuff, EVAP, um, all that and it's got long tubes on it there are no cats in it you need cats in connecticut so i put cats back in it so i've just been working getting the engine codes um and then gotta go and register it once i register it then we'll start doing some work um to this car personal work that i'd want to do i guess you could say not work that it needs to be on the road um today we're working on the fox so this is for anyone that has a fi tech unit um we're going to set the idle on it so it's pretty simple um, you pretty much just need to, I mean, this is great to do if you're just setting up the car. I just changed a couple things on it. So I, I, I do this every now and again, just to keep it up to date. Um, but you want to get it up to temp and then once it's up to temp, then you're going to adjust the screw. Well, you're going to put the thing in, go on the computer and I'll show you guys all that as we do it. Um, and you're going to put it in idle setup. I need to burp coolant first. Um, since so just put the heater core back in this, so I have to do that before all that stuff. Um, but you just want to get your idle step between three and ten. There is, I know it's hard to see, but there's an idle screw adjuster here, and it's obviously best to take off the air cleaner. There's also one in the back for the secondaries. Um, so you don't want to, if you need to adjust it, do so, but you want to try to avoid adjusting that and just do the one in the front. Um, if this is your initial setup, you'll probably want to do that. But since I've done it, I just do the one in the front every now and again. And do that. And then once you get your idle step set, while it's running, then you go and you turn your idle steps off um, on the computer. So I'll show you guys how to do that in a couple minutes. i got to get this running. Burper for coolant. Um, and yeah. So a little Fitech thing. If you guys follow my channel, if you're just coming in for the tech stuff, so be it. Um, if you guys follow my channel pretty soon, we are doing actually a Holly Sniper on this. And right here, I have a Vortec T-Trim. So we'll be throwing that on. Um, probably over the winter. And right now, I'm just focusing on trying to get that car on the road. I need to bring us to a show next weekend. So I want to get everything squared away for the show. So let's get into the, the video on how to set your idle steps <clears throat> with a Fitech. And this will apply to any Fitech. Okay, so I just did my uh, idle relearn. Um, or idle air control relearn on the car and I was just so involved I forgot to record it but we're going to go over it real quick so looking at our screen you're going to go down to uh, go EFI initial setup go to idle setup <clears throat> and then you're going to go to idle set mode at the bottom here turn this on hit send to ECU once you're obviously your car is up to temp then you go back to dashboard scroll down Did I pass it? No. Right here. To idle air steps. And then as it's running, you're going to adjust it to get between 3 and 11. And then once you get in between those, you're going to go back and just go back into the um, oops, initial setup idle setup and then you turn this back off send to ecu and then your idle should be good and mine was obviously it improved afterwards and i've shut off the car and now it's just resting and then what you want to do is when you make sure you shut off the car and remove the key you want to make sure these go blank and this shuts off or at least they go blank that way you know just like that it's saved it's all set to go you're all set for next time so it's just a short little video on the Fi Tech. This works for any of them, or Fi Tech, whatever you want to call it. Works for any of them on how to set your idle air control. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, like, comment, subscribe.